Day 30. Winners tell a different story. 1. The dreams of an entrepreneur. Many entrepreneurs go into business all their lives not knowing it is not business they are after. Many of them spend half of their time dreaming for things they could have if they don't spend half of their time dreaming. Many entrepreneurs may listen, but few entrepreneurs actually hear. Many entrepreneurs seem to think that winning in one area can compensate for losing in other areas. But really, can it? True entrepreneurship requires balance. May your life tell a different story. Entrepreneurs are not prisoners of fate, but only prisoners of their own intellect. 2. Do all you can. Entrepreneurs do less than they should, unless they do all they can. Many entrepreneurs spend their lives in hopes, in deciding to be infinitely blissful at some period, when they have money and time. But the time you have now has one advantage over every other, it is your own. The ironically good old days are gone, the future is yet to come. You may lay in a stock of pleasures, as you would lay in a stock of money, but if you defer the tasting of them too long, you shall find that both will soon be gone. 3. Reality and Calamity. Entrepreneurs stumble over the reality from time to time, but most pick themselves up and hurry off, as if nothing happened. Your intellect is like a parachute, it functions only when open. Calamity, unpleasant events, lay open, disclose the skill of an entrepreneur, while winning conceals his limitations, his weak points. Calamity often sharpen the genius. Mistakes are a part of being an entrepreneur. Appreciate your faults for what they are, precious business lessons that can only be learned the hard way. Unless it is a serious blunder, which, at least, others can learn from. 4. Keep hope. Most business and power games are lost, not won. Most of the imperative things in business have been accomplished by entrepreneurs who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Most entrepreneurs don't get much praise in daily life, but they all require it very much. Because receiving praise makes you courageous. Know your worth in order to accumulate vast knowledge. 5. Performance. Performance qualifies you to make the progress you so crave. Inasmuch as you may desire to make a fresh start, some part of you defy doing so, as though you were making the first step toward calamity. Most entrepreneurs resist change, so a key part of innovating is convincing your clients that your idea is a good one by procuring their help and, in doing so, you help them see the value of the idea. 6. Achievements. Your approach to life should be diligence and kindness. Business requires diligence and if you can only work meticulously you are sure to succeed. Never do anything uselessly. Never deceive customers because in the end you are deceiving yourself. Your mind is your estate. Your great concern should not be whether you have lost, but whether you are at ease with your loss. Your life is your message. Understand that you can do and be anything you really want. Believe this and your life changes. 7. Testing an entrepreneur's personality. Nearly all good entrepreneurs can stand misfortune, but if you want to test an entrepreneur's personality, give him money and power. Never take anyone lightly, in particular one who continually makes progress, no matter how small. Don't doubt that your thoughtful dreams can change the world. Indeed, you are the only one that can ever make your dreams a reality. Give not an instruction that can't be followed. Always abide by your convictions of honor and good sense. 8. Keep pushing forward. Never give up. Keep pushing forward to unlock all the potential you are capable of. Don't live in the past, but strive to learn from it. Never let go of opportunities of saying a kind words. By no means, pretend to a commitment which you do not actually mean. Procrastinate not to tomorrow, what you should do today. You must never narrate a one-sentence story in ten pages. Do not command others how to do things. Demonstrate to them what to do, and they will astonish you with their creativity. 9. Express compassion. No act of compassion, no matter how small is ever a waste. There is no fate worse than a business without a vision. A good entrepreneur cannot fight his battles alone. You must depend upon your advisors because your success depends upon your ability to select the right people for the right job. There has never been a great entrepreneur who complains of want of opportunities. If you make no contribution, you have no dedication. No heritage is so rich as integrity. There are no limits set to the ascent of a devoted entrepreneur. Winning is only your personal choice that decides. 10. Your actions convey meaning. No entrepreneur can rise to the top unless his actions convey a positive meaning. No entrepreneur is a great leader who does not master emotions. No entrepreneur is good enough to manage another individual without that other's consent. You cannot be happy if you do not think yourself so. You are not wise enough by yourself.
No matter how large your business gets, and no matter how many products it provides, it can never take the place of strategic thinking. You do not become poor by giving, only by asking without providing service in return. Never let anyone make you feel inferior. 11. Definite understanding. You only get more definite understanding about the solution when you comprehend the problem. No one is a loser is an ignorant entrepreneur. No reasonable resolution can be made any successfully without taking into account not only the business as it is, but the business as it will be. Nobody will ever help you into victory if you never put in the effort. Plow, plant, and gather into barns, have excess in order to leave a margin of safety. Work as much and achieve as much as an entrepreneur. 12. A great mistake. Entrepreneurs make a great mistake by doing nothing when it is in their power to do more. Not having a lot of money yet is no excuse for not doing everything you can. It is not the entrepreneur who has much who is rich, but the one gives much. Nothing can bring you wealth but yourself. The only thing that contributes so much to your success is how you use the mind as well as having a steady purpose. Affirmations. 1. I exude positive performance for further course of action. 2. I keep thinking about and doing my aspirations. 3. I give attention to the positive. 4. I have a sense of appreciation within me. 5. I identify and improve personal areas that need special attention. Thanks for watching. Please help us create more content by supporting our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash You will instantly gain access to over 400 videos about billionaire biographies and over 140 personal development videos and over 180 Christian videos and over 450 verse and quotes images among other goodies. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to never miss another video. You can also check out our second channel, Discafeth. Link is in the description. Thank you and God bless you.